<laughs> Fiji Sana. So yes, that was amazing. And um, the artist we have to, for you today goes by the name Monaja. So he'll be telling us about himself, what he's about. Welcome to the show. Shukran. How are you? Uh -huh. um, you know, uh, just liking the place, liking mm -hmm. the vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, nice well, show you have here. <laughs> thank you. It's thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, who is Monaja? Um, I'm an artist. Before we even get to that, what does yeah. Monaja mean? Mafunzo ongeza ndi angalau jamae revuke. Ah? Ati mafunzo? Ongeza ndi angalau jamae revuke. Okay, what inspired that? Actually, it was a long call. It was a what? A long call. Okay. I was taking stock of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you were taking stock of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. At so, what so, point? Yeah. So it, um, it was some years back, like I, because I've, I've been in the industry for a while, mm -hmm. um, but in and out, in and out, mm -hmm. Nairobi, mm -hmm. So like, um, uh, cause I, I think I burst into the industry as far as like performances around 2003, mm -hmm. but, uh, Around 08 was when I was like, hey, okay, well, this is really for me. Yeah. No, yeah. No. So um, I had a name earlier on, mm -hmm. but then I was like, mm, which one? Fanya. My elder brother used to call me Mons. Uh -huh. So, um, yo jina niki itumia kwa, niki perform F2, niki itumia Mons. Uh -huh. so, mm, there's something that kuna kitu na fakuongeze ka. Eh? I, I na, eh, si eh, I na leta shangu. Yeah. So, Monaja, uh -huh. and has some kind of Swahili feel to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, so Monaja. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you've been in the industry for quite a minute. I have. I have. Yes. I have, I have, I have. Yeah. <laughs> what has changed over the years for you? Um, I think what has changed over the years is, uh, of course, there are many more radio stations, mm -hmm. TV stations. TV stations, I know. Yeah, because iso sikuli, chana iso sikuli kwa CD. Luko uh -huh. na peana CD yako. So, uh -huh. it, <laughs> I have several in my house if you, if we are talking about compact discs. Oh, yes, compact yes. disc. You're talking about I have music. yes. I have I have <laughs> several in my house. Miss him then gonna add the tapes. Say because she was your old relatives. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. at my yeah. mother's place. We used to use this when we were children. Yes, and those big disc, the, the, the round ones. Vinyl, yeah. The yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, atuna sahi, but we had that oh. kiplet. Ilichomekanga. Ni kwa fikirayo ni Gen Z. Okay. Thank you for the Gen Z. Millennial. Millennial. Eh? Umejito, <laughs> amo umejito hivyo haraka. Gen Z awana sifa poa. Ah, kumbaya da. You know, they, they, they are just, you know, living know, life as yeah, unajua. Yeah. Okay, unajua yeah. tumezo ya kujudge generations. Unye. I know, Because yeah. kama sasa our parents, they judge us. Yeah. You know, and yeah. us, we are passing the judgment down, down to the to others. To them, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but... Um, when they should do, they're just dealing the cards that were dealt to them. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. The, yeah, so, yeah. So we were through the Palekwa, you know, uh, these days kuna more radio stations, we have more TV stations, we have... Yeah, yeah. 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 So, telling us what has so changed. So that's that, the like the, the, the more radio stations, that's mm -hmm. definitely something that's a game changer because Izo Siku, they are just countable. Mm -hmm. You know, like this radio station, this. Mm -hmm. But now you have so many places in town and the distribution itself, mm -hmm. uh, the industry has grown, yeah. DJs are more, artists are more. So, I mean, there's always been this argument of the older artists who sometimes say like it was hard for them mm -hmm. getting things off the ground mm -hmm. because they were just starting out. Mm -hmm. Like no one used to, earlier on, like maybe late 90s, what was it? It was a rap na Kiswahili, Kamasheng. Uh, but now, waseni wengi. Mm. So it begs the question, which one is harder? When guys were starting, mm -hmm. ama saizi venye wasanini wengi. Yeah. It's, I guess it's one of those debates that we'll never really like understand. You know? It's so, true. So yeah, so things have changed. Sound has changed. It's no longer genge and kapuka. Mm -hmm. Sani genge tono. Then now it's now moving into something else. <laughs> something different. Yeah, so your rumba enye mekuja na trap. Yeah. Even. So yeah. So. We have drill. Drill enye, uh, nah. so yeah. Okay, okay. So you, how have you changed as an artist over the years? I never used to... How are you adjusting yeah. to all these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Like, mm -hmm. I I never used to... I was actually a rapper. I was mm -hmm. a freestyle rapper. Mm -hmm. I was a freestyle battle MC. Mm -hmm. um, it's only later on that Nikanza Kuingi's melodies up and up. Yeah. But now later on, because I think the more you grow, you're mm -hmm. like um, going back to your roots. I think even 
music aside, even as a person, you're like, hey, minim kamba, minim vaite, mm -hmm. minim nini, let mm -hmm. me go back to my roots. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been going back to my back roots. To roots. Like, okay. if you listen to some of my songs, kuna some sort of African touch, yeah. flute up, mm -hmm. drum up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, so, the, what instrument is that? The, so, there's a flute, there's uh -huh. a sh there are shakers, uh -huh. what we call... Um, Mbo in Timeru, uh -huh. and then there's a yeah, basically, the, those are the two two Main instruments, instruments that really uh -huh. kind of give uh -huh. the song like uh -huh. that flavor, yeah. yeah. And I, I don't think we are hearing so much of that, especially no. with the new generation kind of music, yeah. It's, it's not it's not something yeah. we are getting a lot, no, it, it isn't. It definitely, I think, um, because, um earlier on, mm -hmm. I think it's sometimes in a kuja come and end like that Africanness because. Mm -hmm. Pia genge tone is also based on genge. Mm -hmm. like, unajua, that's why they call it genge tone. Iyo genge, unajua. Mm -hmm. So, iyo sheng, yeah. naona. So, so there's, but the, as far as instrumentals is concerned, like, I don't get many newer artists using no, those no, kind no, of, no. It's, it's, it's very rare. Actually, yeah. when I was listening to, the, listening to the songs, I was like, the, the, the kind of, that sound, the instruments and everything, is something I have heard from, another artist who does kikuyu music yeah yes yeah. see what yeah, it's it's a rare kind of sound yeah so does that does that make you feel okay that, is that what makes you unique and stand out i think it does like it um of course there's the what how i write mm -hmm. but there's also the instrumental mm -hmm. um and and i mean for me it's because uh, i've not just lived in nairobi yeah. in Meishimeru. Mm -hmm. so it's like i have to i feel that both of both worlds must be represented. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no. So that's where I come in. Yeah. Um, so the una pata hizo ngoma, hizo ma instrumentals and you to me, my instruments and you to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why I, I feel strongly about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. You have also incorporated, you know, your native language here. Yeah. Because uh -huh. yeah. there's a song that you have done with people yeah. from the yeah. Meru side. Tell us a bit about that. Is that something you are planning to do more? Of? Yeah, it, it, it was actually interesting. I'm also. Because I'm also a research consultant. Eh? Uh -huh. um, so 2017, I was doing some research around the elections. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, some of my friends who come from Meru, because mm -hmm. I also come from Meru, mm -hmm. so I just came here in Nairobi, although I've spent most of my life here. Um, so Nile Design, Kwangia Nawa were like, yeah, why don't we do a song? But mm -hmm. now, kind of reinvent the approach, and now just go back to the singing of in Kimeru, yeah. the same, same rhythm. Uh -huh. Uh, so yeah, so it's um, it was more or less informed by, by also the times, mm -hmm. informed by some of the things I was seeing. I was mm -hmm. seeing like, because um, there are two songs we did with them. Yeah. There's a song that we did that was uh, um, more traditional in the sense that uh, asking people to come together, mm -hmm. let's break down these boundaries as mm -hmm. Africans. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the different sub-ethnic groups among the Meru, yeah. asking people to come together mm -hmm. and now exporting that throughout the continent. So that was that was informed by a memory that I had in in 2017 mm -hmm. when I went to and I visited the border of of Isiolo mm -hmm. and Meru, Meru yeah. a place called Kena, mm -hmm. uh, where there's parts where Meru's are more, parts mm -hmm. where Barana's are more. Yeah. But there are places where I would see like they were just seated together, mm -hmm. drinking find a Meru guy making injera which mm -hmm. is more or less borana so i was like hey wait see these guys are these guys are cool like see at even you see what i got boundaries yeah, always fighting yeah. it's not the case yeah, so i was yeah. like hmm. ground some things are different exactly yeah so yeah so that's why i i wrote that song and mm -hmm. it was kind of um to kind of show people that uh, as africans mm -hmm. and as even different ethnicities mm -hmm. like we should really like focus on the on the commonalities, mm -hmm. on the similarities we have, and that kind of brotherhood, sisterhood, mm -hmm. that oneness. So yeah, uh, okay, yeah. all right. Um, you talked about um, your writing, yeah. so I particularly like how you wrote the song Sina. In it, how na kisman? How na kisman? I like how the story just unfolds, and you know, like you can actually, it's a story. Tuna songa nayo, tuna songa nayo, tuna songa nayo. So is that how you do all your songs? Do you like tell a story with your music? I most I I have a bias to storytelling, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Why do you have a bias to storytelling? See, because nile like nile. You life is stories. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, what's your story? Yeah. So, what's your story? Mm -hmm. like, so, where, 
venye tu umeniuliza like so tell me about unajua mm -hmm. so um i definitely have that like i i like writing stories but i like also including humor in my music not all of my songs though mm -hmm. um but yeah how una kisma tilitoka na you know there was a friend of mine um alikuwa amepitia mengi alikuwa amepitia mengi so ile mbaka yani q boys q boys wa jawasi waga so waga tunapenda kuchekeleana it's a very weird way of showing like you know like i still unajua bado ni best wangu you're showing love yeah you actually is yeah you by the way ndio tunajua international men's day mepita too size but you ninja yetu ya kushow love tukikuchekelea si hata tuna tuna ati tunajaribu I'm making fun of I'm making fun of your situation I still care about you na kama unahitaji I'll still help you Sindio yeah and so ni that's what inspired the song also personal experiences um so yeah so ni ngome nyenyeandika nikifikiria and then of course pay imagination like mm -hmm. some of those things like it's not that one person went through all of those all things of that. but, but I know, like, it, like have you ever possible. had a bad day like from the word go mpaka mwisho like it's all bad Sindio. no sometimes it does happen yeah. okay but not yeah, if yeah, something like that happens to one person that's <laughs> so unfortunate so ah lakini si bado hata <laughs> bado hata jijenga unajua What doesn't yeah. kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> makes you stronger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Kismat na wanisha nini? Kismat ni bahati. Uh -huh. Hauna bahati, hauna Kismat, hauna uh -huh. bahati. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Hey. So we are kwa na bahati at all. So it is um one of it is your latest song. Yeah. And you told me that you are working on an album I am. which is this part of is um sina hauna Kismat na tuchapiana part of the songs that they are they are the they are um they are um kingi hata YouTube you're going to find the six songs that I've released this year mm -hmm. six uh, six videos mm -hmm. um so they are going to be part of a larger album mm -hmm. which uh, I hope to release perhaps late January mm -hmm. early February um so yeah melody melodies na rap okay yeah. okay yeah. all right yeah. interesting Do you have a name for the album? Melodies na rap. Oh, melodies na rap. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. ni kuna melodies kuna okay. Yeah, both. Najua ni self ni self explanatory. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ni both melody uh -huh. na rap na zote rap. mbili. Yeah. Tuna combine zote yeah. mbili. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice. So, um what are some of the challenges you have been experiencing in this industry? Ni no say like I said like uh -huh. tenje ni nyingi, uh -huh. TV station ni nyingi sana. Mm -hmm. Eh lazima niende huku lazima niende isaki lazima iko kwa plans you need show no man na cheza kenyan music eh yeah. big up yourself yes <laughs> uh, national eve uh -huh. so um uh, there are so many like the distribution part of it has mm -hmm. now become tricky over time no, okay. no. Uh, and and for those because you know sometimes like right now I'm managing myself mm -hmm. you know and it's a huge huge thing like mm -hmm. managing you're supposed to manage you're supposed to write you're supposed to distribute mm -hmm. and then you're also supposed to do your other hustles no no um it's a difficult thing to pull off but mm -hmm. uh, if you love what you do you just you know you just do what you can yeah, no, no. yeah. Um, find balance exactly love exactly so so there's that there's a distribution part of it mm -hmm. there's also like even the financing part of it you know like we have to come up with other hassles for us to finance this yeah. um there's there's of course i mean i wouldn't want to say like keeping up with the trends because mm -hmm. i think that that mm -hmm. it's true that peer people at a certain point in time people would want to listen to people would want to listen to music that they are familiar with mm -hmm. but i think the artist is also supposed to stick to their core yeah so you unajuliza hey I think on gaza tempo kwa ngoma I have had this discussion with several artists you know the 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 how how should we call it like keeping up with the trends like giving people what they want and sticking true to yourself what a what what you actually the music you consider this is good music you know it's 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 tricky, right? It is. It is. It is. Because you know, what want scout party, you know, this kind of song, this kind of song. So I'm like, are you supposed to do that as an artist? Am I you supposed to stick true to what you believe in and, you know, give people good music? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit of both because people, the guys who you have who consider you, the guys who are your fans. Um if you just change drastically in the mm -hmm. name of chasing a trend mm -hmm. they'll be like why am i believing this why do i still have to believe in this guy yeah. you know um and the trick of the problem of following trends is that you're going to end up being a trend itself 
alafu hiyo trend ikiisha mm-hmm. what happens so now, yeah but definitely mm-hmm. there is so like hauna kismat i've never rhymed on like the beat itself mm-hmm. is uh, it's it's kona hiyo ugenge tone but see ugenge tone yeah, unaona yeah. the, the the kind it, of it, the groove it reminded me of major exactly so now yes <laughs> but at the same time si major eh, unajua si unasikia hiyo eh, yati uh-huh. wandende kwa yeah, ngoma yeah, unasikia hizo yeah. shakers so um it's but i'm staying true to myself mm-hmm. like for the past 14 years mm-hmm. i've been an artist who has been putting out music that either is humorous in some way mm-hmm it has like really good lyrics mm-hmm. uh, flows i change i switch yeah, yeah. so eh uh, so it's staying true to myself and mm-hmm. the guys who who have been loving my stuff for the past 15 16 years mm-hmm. they, they still relate with hauna kisma tunaona mm-hmm. so but don't just totally abandon who you mm-hmm. are in the name of mm-hmm. Lazima ni sound lazima kama. Ni, yes, exactly. Lazima ni so, sound kama. At the end of the day but it's balance. Exactly. You need the balance. Yeah. Eh, okay. Okay. So where can people find, you know, how na kismat to chapiane and more of your music? YouTube, YouTube, how na monaja mwenyewe, check out my channel monaja mwenyewe, all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook monaja mwenyewe, you're going to find all of my songs there. Um yeah. How na kismat to chapiane. Mm-hmm. Streaming platforms. Yeah. Streaming bado. Mm-hmm. bado, streaming bado, mm-hmm. bado. We are still trying to because the thing is, we w- I want to put that alongside the album. Mm-hmm. So the streaming platforms bado, I'm, I've been, mm-hmm. I've been kind of slow to that. Okay. But possibly by by Jan, Jan Ali Feb nda kwa nisha maliza yoma neno. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we are expecting the album as well. So yeah. we are hoping to see that. And I know your fans will enjoy. And I know you've gathered a few new fans today. Wazi. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so and thank you for the platform. You're welcome. Yeah. So I want us to listen to Hauna Kismat so that people can get, you know, um, what we are talking about when we say, when we talk about, you know, Hauna Bahati, Hauna Bahati, isn't it? Mm. Kismat ni Bahati. Ni Bahati. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming through. We do appreciate your time so, thank so you. much. Thank you. And yeah, stay true to yourself. Will do. Yeah. yeah. So up next is uh, Monaja Hauna Kismat.